Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to find the CPU usage within ch.net. The compiler which we are using is the Microsoft Visual Studio. So we will go to file, go to new and go to project. Here we will click Visual CH, Windows and Windows Forms application. You can change the name of the project if you want. I am not changing it. Click OK. This is our working window. Now we will go and we will take one push button. Now we will double click on this push button and it will lead us to the callback of that particular push button. Now we will also need to import one library that is called as using system dot diagnostics. Okay, using system dot diagnostics. This class is specialized for like uh, internal uh, some internal readings like counters and monitoring of internal systems. So now we will come towards our private void button under button one underscore click now we will declare a variable of any data type okay because where is our variable which is used which is not used specifically for any sort of data type okay it is a generalized type of data type that you can declare a variable and we will declare a variable named as cp underscore cntr is equal to new performance counter performance counter now okay now we will write processor now this performance counter is actually a counter which is used for to uh, monitor some sort of internal functions okay uh, we can take certain uh, data on specific ticks okay like uh, we will use a function that uh, we will be called as next value okay that uh, next value used to give us the uh, performance value on uh, some counts on next counts okay or on specific counts okay so here we will give in the parameter brackets parameter as processor and percent processor percent processor time comma underscore total okay so this is our whole thing okay now we will click the push button and you can see that our uh, function is working okay no error at all okay now we will go for next thing now we will declare an integer type variable and named it as use and use is equal to int of cp underscore c and tr now we will write a specific function that is called as next value next value will give us the particular values on uh, on counter text okay what uh, i got uh, from the documentation is that the next value used to provide certain certain data on specific okay counter ticks okay so dot next value okay so it 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 dot next value is an instance or, uh, is a method or function and it is now uh, associated with this variable that is cp underscore counter which is actually a variable of performance counter class 
and uh, end function will convert all this all this to integer and then all the all the things will be get converted to integer and then it will be used inside this use variable okay use variable now we will write uh, some delay function like system dot threading dot thread dot sleep this is actually used for like 2000 or anything like that this is for actually for delay okay this is a delayed uh, which which will obviously use some sort of cpu usage so that is why uh, we can read a value okay so now again we will write use is equal to okay use is equal to int of cp underscore cntr dot next value again it will read a value okay and then we will write console dot write and console dot write line is a function for to output for to output the uh, answer okay on the console okay that uh, if you want to write anything of integer data type of character data type string data type you can write console dot write line and it will print on the console like you can see yeah, now when i will click the button it will print the data on co console okay wait what what it says wait processor time okay now now we will click the push button and now it gives us 11 percent usage okay now again now i will write record pc screen and all this so okay if we like if we use certain if we use to open certain other softwares maybe like vlc media player and all these so cpu usage will be a little bit more okay so now we will click on it okay wait let me open some some heavy software like microsoft edge okay now now we will see the value okay now you can see that our value has increased to 72 so in this way we can get at least the usage of uh, cpu just like in task manager so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe